In this video, I will install Cofusion Builder 2016 with the built-in Cofusion server that comes along in the installation package. You will see that it is a very simple and straightforward process. So I'm here on the downloads folder of my Macintosh. You can find, of course, the equivalent of the downloads folder on the Windows platform as well. And I have here a single file, which is the Cofusion Builder installer that I downloaded from the Adobe website. On the Windows platform, this is going to be a .exe file, and here on the Mac you see it's a .dmg, a disk image, so I will double click on that file to mount the disk image, and inside of that disk image I have the Cofusion Builder installer application. On Windows, you can double click on the .exe file and that will directly open the installer application. So let's open here this installer application. And we will simply go through the different steps of that wizard. So here I have a welcome page. Let's click on next. The license agreement that I accept and click on next. Now here is a first important choice. Remember in the last video, I told you that Cofusion Builder is built on top of the Eclipse platform. Well, if you already have Eclipse installed on your machine, you can choose here to install Cofusion Builder as a plugin within the existing Eclipse installation. But if Eclipse is not yet installed on your machine, then you can choose the standard Cofusion Builder installation that will install both the underlying Eclipse IDE with the Cofusion Builder plugin within that Eclipse installation. And this is what I will do in my case because Eclipse is not yet installed on this computer. So let's click on next. Now take good note of this installation folder. This is going to be different on the Mac and on Windows. And take good note of that folder because this is the path where you will need to deploy the exercise files that we will use during this course. So let's click on next. Now here is another important choice. Do you want to install the Cofusion server that comes into that installation package? In my case, I will keep that box ticked, of course, because I want to install the Cofusion server and I will provide a password. And I will use that password to access the Cofusion administrator and the RDS services. We will talk more about the Cofusion administrator and the remote development services, otherwise known as RDS, later in the course. So let's come up with a great password. And let's confirm that password. There we go, and click on Next. Here is the licensing, so in my case I will select here the 60-day trial, so I can install Cofusion and Cofusion Builder without providing any serial number, and that will give me access to a fully functional copy of Cofusion Builder for 60 days. After the 60-day trial, the Cofusion server that comes with that Cofusion Builder will revert to a developer edition and the Cofusion Builder will revert to the Express edition which is still functional but with less functionalities. So let's click on next here and this is the last page of the wizard that gives you a summary of your choices and let's click here on install to start the actual installation. And that's it, installation is complete and successful. You see that this was quite easy and fast, so I will click here on done and close the windows here that are open. In the next video, we will take a closer look at what has been installed, and we will also learn how to turn the Cofusion server on and off with Cofusion Builder.